Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to outline the terms affinity and efficacy. Many students tend to use these words interchangeably, but they are two distinct properties of drugs, and any drug can have either, neither, or both. In order for a drug to work, it needs to have the ability to bind to its receptor, or affinity, and it also needs to have the ability to evoke a response after binding, or efficacy. Drugs with low affinity are less likely to bind to a receptor, and if they do, they are unlikely to remain bound for long. A drug with high affinity, however, has complementary chemical and physical properties that make it more likely to bind and to remain bound to its receptor. Drugs with efficacy bind to their receptors and produce a response. Drugs with no efficacy may bind to a receptor but will not produce a response. So in this example, the red drug has no affinity. The blue drug has affinity but no efficacy. These kind of drugs are known as antagonists and can be used therapeutically to block receptors from becoming activated. And finally, the green drug has both affinity and efficacy. These drugs are known as agonists, which can be used therapeutically to activate receptors. So, to recap, the higher affinity a drug has to a specific receptor the more likely it is to bind and to stay bound to it. The efficacy of a drug is a measure of its ability to evoke a response when binding to a specific receptor. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.